Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a certain technique you can use to create a stereo sound from a couple of mono sounds that is completely mono compatible. Um, so for those of you that are concerned with mono compatibility, this technique might be a little bit helpful. So for this example, I'm going to just be using a clap sound, but you can kind of do this with whatever sound you want. Uh, so, so in this example, you can see both of these claps are um, in mono. And let's say I want to add some stereo width to my clap. So the way that I personally would use this technique is, you know, if I have a sound in mono that sounds really good, so maybe I have this clap. Um, maybe I think this clap is the best clap ever. Maybe the only problem that I see with it is that it lacks some stereo width. So what I will do is layer another clap on top of it, and I'll use this clap to give the sound the stereo. Um, and the way that I do this allows you know, the stereo sound not to affect the original mono sound when the full track is merged to mono. So, you know, this clap is the clap that I really like. And this clap I'm only using because it will add some stereo width to the sound. And so when it merges to mono, all you'll be left hearing is this clap. So let's take a look at how to do this. And, you know, like I said, you can use this for any sounds, not just claps. Uh, you know, whenever it sounds good, try it out and see if you like it. Um, so I'm going to start by routing the channels to the mixer. I have the original clap, and then the one that I'm going to use to add the stereo. And on the, you know, whatever sound that you want to use to add the stereo with, the sound that you want to disappear when it goes to mono, uh, add a stereo shaper, the fruity stereo shaper. And to achieve the effect that I want to, all I'm going to do is take one of these down to minus one. So um, originally, you know, they're both at plus one or zero decibels, um, but I'm taking it down to minus one or also zero decibels, but just polarity inverted. Um, so now you'll hear that this clap sounds really, really wide. And if I do, you know, merge this um, I'm actually going to route both of these to another track. So you'll hear if I do merge this to mono, you know, that clap completely disappears. And if I play these claps together, you know, now you can see on the vector scope and you can hear the layer has some stereo width to it. And you, know, you can adjust the level of the kind of the stereo layer to adjust how much width it has. So, you know, if you just want to add a touch of stereo, you can keep it quite low. Uh, but if you want to add a lot, you can have it pretty high. And you'll hear if I merge this to mono, the whole clap. You know, it sounds exactly the same as if I were to just play this clap. And that's because for the stereoizing layer, you know, the left and the right track are polarity inversions of each other, so they just completely cancel out when you merge it to mono. Um, but you know, in stereo you can hear it. So this is kind of a nice technique to use if you're really worried about mono compatibility and you have like a mono sound that you want to sound exactly the same when merged to mono. You can, you know, use this technique to make that happen. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. You know, this isn't something that I would recommend you do all the time, but if you, you know, have a sound that you want to kind of widen and you want it to definitely be perfectly monocompatible, then you know, this is a pretty good option for you to try out. But yeah, so I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials and I try to release new ones every week. I also do my best to keep things pretty organized so that you can find what you're looking for a bit more easily. So thanks again guys for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you next time.